Show your support. Join the discussion in the comments. Hello, I am That British Guy and welcome back to the channel. In this video I want to look at the new Final Fantasy VII Remake trailer that we saw late last week. More specifically I want to look at all of the battle footage. There are two reasons for this. One, we saw a lot of it in the trailer, so there's actually quite a few bits and pieces to go through and analyse. And also, I feel that this is going to be the area of the game that is the most different from the original release. Obviously, we know that Square have diverted away from turn-based battles, and obviously have integrated a kind of freer, more open area and a kind of a quicker way of those battles taking place and it would seem that is what they're going to be adopting in the remake of Final Fantasy 7. So let's see exactly what I mean by that. To begin this here looks to me as if this is an animation to start the battle. On the original game we kind of got the and the camera changed and you got kind of a soft transition into the battle screen and this is essentially taking you from the sort of the normal overview map into kind of a battle arena similar to what we saw in Final Fantasy 13 where you could kind of see the area around you and they changed depending on where you were but you were still within a fixed area of the map as similar as well to type 0 um, unlike what we saw in 15 and 12 where the monsters are just in the overworld and you battle them there. A little bit later on we see an animation from the guard scorpion itself. This shows a much more dynamic camera and it looks like this is kind of a special attack. I will get onto that a little bit later on in the video. But what we also see here are separate figures for HP and what we can assume I think are MP which would also suggest to me that we are getting magic in the normal sense of the word very much like we've seen in previous games. I'm guessing we would then be able to select these in the same way that we would select an attack and obviously it would use our MP up in order to deliver those attacks. On this next screen there are a few different bits to unpack. We can see that there are different commands that are allocated to a couple of the face buttons. For the triangle button we see a move called back blast. Now this would suggest some kind of special attack maybe a stronger attack. It's possible this as well could maybe use up MP or maybe you have to deliver a certain amount of regular attacks to fill this bar up so that you're then able to use it for kind of a stronger attack. It's already been mentioned by Square, I think by Nomura himself, that the battle will be a little bit similar to what we've seen in Dissidia where you use kind of one attack to build up a, a kind of a strike figure which you are then able to deliver using the alternative attack. Maybe this is the same sort of thing because as we see here using the square command we actually will just do a regular attack. So maybe we have to chain these regular attacks up with square in order to then fill up our special attack bar and then deliver back blast. Underneath this we also see that the circle button opens up a command menu. Now best guess at this stage is this is where we would find things like magic, uh, potentially summons and the other sort of special abilities that were linked to the yellow coloured materia, things like steel or enemy skill. Again we've been told that materia will play a part in this game so it makes sense that this is kind of the area that these commands will be kept in and kind of split out between essentially the red materia category of all the summons that that particular character has equipped to them 
the green magical abilities and the yellow sort of special skills as I've said before things like steel and enemy skill. On this next screen we see a couple of the same bits that we've already seen on the previous screen but there are quite a few differences as well. As you can see the square button the attack command has been replaced by braver as we know this is Cloud's first limit break that he gets at the beginning of the game and just like in the original Final Fantasy 7 when your limit break bar has filled up so that you're in a position to use this ability it actually replaces the attack command so you're not able to do a regular attack anymore you hit with a limit break instead and that's what we can see here Square has been allocated to Braver instead of Attack. We can also see that because we ha are yet to select a command for this character, we can cycle through to the other characters that we have within this battle with the L2 and R2 buttons. Now this is the only time that we're actually able to see this ability in any of the trailer and what that suggests to me is that in all the other instances the character that has been selected is kind of mid-selection and because of that you're not then able to cycle through the available characters because you've essentially already committed to using that character now all you need to do is select an ability for them to carry out within the battle. And also here we see that L1 is a shortcut button. Presumably there is a way of allocating these shortcut commands maybe in one of the menus. And at a best guess you would then click that and have certain abilities like maybe a certain magic or a certain summon that you like using a lot or a special ability if you use steel a lot for example you can just shortcut through and maybe have those skills allocated to something like the d-pad so that there's no kind of confusion or crossover and depending on what you've allocated to which button on the d-pad you would then rather than go through the whole menu you can just quickly go to well I like using fire magic so I'll press L1 to bring up my shortcut command and then the right button which I've allocated to the fire magic rather than circle to open up your command menu then go into magic and then find fire within that menu it's just a lot quicker to go straight into your L1 and kind of quick command from there. Now this next sequence we see what looks like a very similar animation that we saw at the beginning of my video here that I discussed the animation to basically start a battle the only difference being that Aerith because she is now in your party is kind of part of that animation as well it would appear in the trailer that this is the transition into the fight with the monster in the sewer after meeting Don Corneo but either the absence of Tifa is because they have just edited her out with kind of picking a very specific shot where she's not within view of the camera or this is actually the start of another battle that maybe you have um, just after the church something like that before Tifa has joined your party and you are just fighting as Aerith and Cloud. If we run those two animations next to each other you will see how similar they are to each other except for obviously the inclusion of Aerith in the second animation. Here we see that the triangle command backblast has been replaced with Punisher. Obviously in this screen we're actually commanding Cloud and not Barrett. So that would suggest to me that backblast is a very personal special skill dedicated only to Barrett and Punisher is effectively the equivalent but for Cloud so that would lead me to think that Tifa and Aerith and all the other characters have their own specific ability that is just allocated to them that can be controlled using the triangle command. It would appear here that Cloud is actually blocking these attacks in his stance and the way that he is holding his sword 
and indeed that seems to be confirmed moments later when the command actually comes across the screen. It appears that an area attack is being used by the enemy and as we see Barra actually gets hurt by it but because Cloud is in the middle of blocking he is less affected. My guess is maybe this button is R1. We haven't seen what that does yet. It doesn't appear in any of the screens that we have seen so far. The other shoulder buttons we've already seen we cycle between characters and L1 brings up a shortcut list. So it's very possible that we then have R1 allocated simply to block rather than in the kind of old ways of a turn-based system where we would select defend again on the d-pad because obviously the battles are a lot more free-flowing and a lot quicker and won't be turn-based we're going to need some kind of block and evasion button like we got in Final Fantasy 15 and it seems that is what we are seeing here this would appear to be a back blast in action. It looks like the command itself is actually highlighted in this screen and this we don't see in the other screens where it is included within the commands. And it also doesn't look like a regular attack that is being carried out here. It's a lot more grandiose. It ends up doing a lot more damage to the enemy. So that would suggest that the requirements have been met and Barra in this instance has used his triangle attack of backblast. Here we see cross slash in action. The same visuals compared to the original game are being used. We already know that limit breaks are going to be similar to what we had in the original game because we saw that Braver had replaced attack earlier in this video and obviously by this point Cloud had learned cross slash so he's used this instead on the enemy and finally we see the laser tail being used here by the guard scorpion and very similar to what we saw at the very beginning of my video here the animation mid battle showing how this is attacking Cloud and Barra. It would appear that this is maybe the enemy's kind of triangle move if you like the kind of non-regular attack. I doubt they're going to do special animations for every single type of generic attack. But when an enemy has these kind of special skills at their disposal, then there might be a nice little cinematic like we've seen here mid-battle to just kind of give a different visual perspective of the battle. Just make it feel a bit more alive, a bit more kind of free flowing. So there we go, that is what I managed to glean from the new Final Fantasy 7 remake trailer. If there are any bits and pieces you feel I may have missed, please let me know in the comments below or if you have your own ideas or theories, please also let me know in the comments. I will be looking to do a couple of other videos based on this new trailer in the next few weeks. And just a reminder that myself and Pokey Pidge and our respective other halves will be at the Norwich Gaming Market this Saturday the 18th of May and we will hopefully be recording a few bits and pieces while we are there that we will be releasing to you in the not too distant future. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you like my content please consider giving the channel a subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at Rightly Wrongly and also find me on Facebook at That British Guy 86. Till next time, I've been That British Guy and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.